Spurgeon here with RevZilla TV, and today I'm going to be giving you the detailed breakdown of the Speed & Strength SS1310 helmet available at RevZilla.com. So what you're going to see in front of me is the new SS1310 from Speed & Strength, and this is going to fill a void in their lineup. We are going to see this come in just between the SS700 and the SS1600 in speed and strength lineup to really come in around that $150 price point for a solid and around the $170 price point for the graphics. You're gonna have two different solid colors available, a black and a matte black. The matte black is what you see in front of me right now. And then there's two different graphic versions available for 2016. There's gonna be the black heart or the quick and the dead. Now, what you see on the table with me is gonna be the SS700, because I really wanna show you exactly what you're getting as far as upgrades when you take a step from the SS700 up to the six, or up to the 1310 that you see in front of me. First and foremost, the 1310 is going to share the polycarb shell with the more aerodynamic, aggressive design of the 1600. When you're looking at the 700 to my left, it's definitely gonna have a more round profile to it. It's not gonna be as sporty, it's not gonna be as aggressive. So if you are a sport rider, you might appreciate the 1310's shell design just a little bit more. You'll also notice on the back of this that the exhaust vents on the back of the 1310 are definitely more aggressive. You're getting much more airflow coming through with the 1310. So if you're riding in warmer conditions, stepping up to the 1310 is definitely gonna give you more ventilation. And you can see that carried through on the front of the helmet as well. Definitely larger vents, especially the more aggressive chin vent that you're gonna see on the 1310. And the final note, if we open up the face shields on this, the, the actual rubberized gasket on the 1310 is gonna be much more of a seal than you're gonna find on the 700. And again, when you're considering this, you're considering jumping up $50 in price from around the $100 price point to around the $150 price point, there's definitely the considerations you wanna make as to what's really important to you. Both are gonna be DOT rated, so there's not, it's, it's not gonna, one is gonna be a little bit more safer, just a few more features on the 1310. Now, set that one off to the side, with the 1310, like I said earlier, this is gonna share the same shell as the 1600. You would wanna consider moving up to the 1600 if you are looking for a drop down sun visor. And it's also gonna give you an ECE safety rating. It's also gonna add about four ounces to the weight because they're gonna put that sun visor in there. The actual 1310 that you see in front of me is gonna save you about four ounces. So if you'd rather have a lighter helmet without an internal sun visor, the 1310 is going to be the way to go. Now, like I said earlier, this is gonna be a polycarb shell. Comes in around three pounds, five ounces. Intermediate oval head shape with this. It's gonna be a little bit longer front to back, a little bit narrow on the sides. It's gonna work for the majority of the American market. Now, when we're talking about sizing with this, it is gonna fit about a half size small. So if you find yourself in between two sizes on speed and strength size chart, you're definitely gonna to wanna to bump up for that nice secure fit without it being uncomfortable. Like I said earlier, with the colorways, there's gonna be two solid options. This is gonna be the matte black in front of me, and there are gonna be those two graphic options as well. Like we talked about with the venting on this, you're gonna have those three intake vents, massive amount of venting coming in through the front, and you're gonna notice that they carry through with the back, and you're gonna have those four exhaust vents on the back, two direct vents at the top, and then two passive vents down in the bottom, just to help pull airflow through the overall helmet. You're also gonna notice that aggressive shell design. Like I said earlier, this is gonna share that really same aggressive shell that we're gonna see in the 1600. It's gonna work really nicely, give you an aerodynamic flow, so if you are in a little bit more of a sport tuck, this would be one to consider for you. As we move around to the front, the, fall, or the face shield in this is gonna have an anti-fog coating and a really nice positive feel to it as you're opening it up and down. And on the left-hand side, while you're not getting that internal sun visor, you still have the locking mechanism. So if you wanna keep that locked down, you're not gonna to have to worry about that face shield flying up on you in aggressive riding conditions. So let's move now to the inside of this. You're gonna notice we're gonna have a nice cool core lining, and this is shared out of the 1600 as well. And let's start by just ripping out the cheek pads first and foremost. You're gonna see as we pull these out, they are gonna be a really nice moisture wicking cheek pad, soft, and they are gonna have a nice contoured shape to them to really fit against your face, really hold your head into place there. You're also gonna notice these pops of reflectivity on the, along the bottom. This is gonna be if you are in that more aggressive tuck position, you are going to have just that little bit of reflectivity coming out the bottom for those of you riders out there riding a little bit more aggressively. Now, as we pull out the liner on this, you're gonna notice nice comfort liner, and it's gonna work to really, and again, you can see it pulls right out, 
Because there's no internal facial in this, they're going to do a nice job of not using snaps at the brow to mount this into place. Rather, this is going to sit up on the front of the helmet, giving you a nice, comfortable feel. You don't have to worry about any pressure points pushing into your forehead. They did a really nice job with this, considering this is a $150 price point helmet. Now, when we look at the inside of this, you're going to notice you can see those channels. And again, nothing massive. You're going to be able to see the, the actual holes for the vents. Nothing crazy, no real channel cutouts here. But again, that's not what we'd expect from a helmet around this price point. You still get nice ventilation and nice clear cuts from those holes coming in from the vents up on the top of the shell. You'll also notice single EPS, single density EPS liner on this. No real surprises there. And it's going to give you a nice overall feel. Speed and Strength did a nice job considering the fact that this comes in around that $150 price point to give you an aggressively styled helmet with comfort features on the inside to really match if you want to use this in a longer riding situation. Now there's a lot of riders out there that are rocking speed and strength. And if you want to hear more about what they have to say, click the info button. Check out what other riders are digging about the speed and strength helmets they're rocking on their rides. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate, get in the phone, give us a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs Thank you for joining us for this look at the Speed & Strength SS1310 helmet. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.